after that incident, you yeah, you know, he chat. usually asks to confirm that something is not. It has. It's okay. 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 It's Oh my god. That came out. That was so great. It's okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. You just got to know he's stuck in your throat. You guys, that was a very scary situation that happened this past weekend in Jersey Shore star Mike the Situation's home. What started out as a nice family dinner quickly turned into a really scary moment. Mike was sitting at the table as his two-year-old son, Romeo, sat in a high chair at the end of the table just a few feet away. Romeo appeared to be being fed by a potential family member or possible nanny. As the family was eating, Lauren, Mike's wife, was still in the kitchen. Romeo is fed a bite of pasta and immediately started coughing. Mike got over, went over to his son, began patting him on the back. Lauren came from the kitchen to see if everything was okay. From the sound of the video, it was either Lauren or the other lady that said that he was choking. Mike immediately removed his young son from the high chair and began to pat him on the back. At one point, little Romeo kind of collapsed over into a hunched position and even stomped his foot in frustration. Lauren goes back into the kitchen asking Mike if they needed that thing, and he responds, yes. She asked where it was before pulling something out of the kitchen cabinet and returning back to the little guy. Thankfully, within a few seconds, they were able to dislodge the food from Romeo's windpipe, and we could hear the toddler let out a loud cry. Lauren and Mike, of course, consoled him. Mike posted the video to his social media account, explaining what happened, giving his wife props for staying calm, and telling their followers that he and his wife would be attending a CPR class very soon. And honestly, I think CPR classes are definitely a smart idea. In the comment section, Mike let everyone know that he and his wife used the de-choker to dislodge the piece of pasta. Seeing this video definitely makes me consider getting one. Thank goodness little Romeo is okay. Thank goodness they were so close because I actually know a situation where a two or three year old, I think he was probably three, he was sitting in his high chair eating and his mom was in the kitchen back turned and the young boy choked on a grape. Um, and it didn't turn out this 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 way. It was way worse. So the situation could have been worse. Thank God they were so close. I know this had to be terrifying for them. They acted quick. They stayed calm. And Lauren got right to the D choker and got back over there and used it. She used it efficiently. She used it correctly. And she was able to, uh, you know, get the food out of his throat. So scary situation. Thank God they got the D choker. And they want to do CPR classes as well. So they acted quick. Shout out to them. I'm glad that Mike shared it because I do feel like this brings awareness to how quick things can happen and how important it is to know these things like CPR classes and to have something on hand like the D-Choker. So huge promotion for them, but rightfully so because it worked amazingly. It literally worked within like a second. So shout out to them, you guys. Scary situation. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.